All right. Hey, Joshua Smith here at Perfect Storm, and I am going to be walking you through a complete system demo here of Perfect Storm's website and CRM functionality. The first thing that I want to point out here is with Perfect Storm, we are a all-in-one complete system, meaning that we have your front-end facing branding lead generation website along with a robust CRM transaction management feature. This way you can work your entire pipeline. So not only allow you to go out there and again, brand yourself, run your blogs, go out there and lead generate from a front end standpoint of a website. But then on the back end, you can work all of your leads, your clients, your past clients, your sphere of influences, or your under contracts, transactions, all of that in one centralized system. So where we're at here um, on this first website here is this is what then the reason why I like to start with this website, and then I'll show you a bunch of different custom uh, customization and different features and different options. There is that this is essentially what your website is looks like when it's delivered out of the box. If you look at these top navigation items up here, everything but this join our team here. So you got your home uh, button here, which takes you to the home page here, your search feature. Um, your cell feature for CMAs and your contact us. Those are the three navigation items that are all, all, or I guess four navigation items that are on all websites. Then from there, you have the ability to add um, uh, essentially infinite amounts of navigation items that they want infinite, but there are a lot of customization with navigation items, drop down menus, and so forth, which I'll again show you a bunch of different options, as well as you know adding different logos for your brokerage, as well as your company logo, your team logo, your image, all of your contact information, social media icons, and so forth. So this is your homepage where if somebody went to your direct website, this is where they would land. Now, what you're seeing here with this video, this is one of our pre-made videos. That's just kind of a generic video. A lot of our clients utilize this. It's really popular, um, but you can swap this out with any video that you want. So as an example, this is one of our clients that is in Maine uh, and they went out there and had a drone video that is very specific to their market. So anybody that's in their market that's watching this video knows that this is their town market that they work. So you can swap this out with a different video. You can swap it out with a different image, you know, and so forth. And again, I'll get in and show you that. So as you scroll down here, so you're going to have, um, you know, this is what you're going to see in the first fold. And this just takes you to a home search and you can search by city address, school, you know, all of that. Uh, we directly link with uh, M the MLS ID system. So we're able to pull through all of the listings in your given market. Um, and as you scroll through here, um, anything down here is again, customizable. So a lot of our clients might have different areas that they work with home searches, just popping up properties to get people to prompt to go out there and search properties to get them to opt in as a lead, which I'll show you what that looks like here. Um, but you can have different custom cards here. Um, some of our clients will have testimonials. Some of our clients will search by different price points. Um, uh, you can have different neighborhoods. Again, you can have different cards here here for different opt-ins, um, which I'll show you again, a bunch of options on that. Again, you can have client testimonials, you can embed videos, you can have your track record, featured listings, you know, and so forth. All right. So let me then show you um, one of my agents' websites, actually on my real estate team. So you can see here that this is actually my team's uh, main core website. The reason why it's not branding me personally, as far as Joshua Smith is, you know, I'm not in production anymore. So I want to go out there and brand all of my agents. So if you have, you know, if you are a team leader or brokerage owner and you have agents that you're adding to your system, um, essentially all of your agents have the same branding functionality that any that any owner of the system would have. So here's one of my agents. So if we go to her site here, even though it's a subdomain site that's linked to my website, um, and if you don't have a team or brokerage, again, you can kind of ignore that verbiage that I'm utilizing there, unless you, you know, have the desire to go out there and create your team, you can add agents um, uh, as you expand your team and or brokerage as well. But you can see though, even though, you know, this is built off of, you know, my main system um, as a team leader. Um, she's able to come in here, add her own logo, add her own branding. She has all, these are all direct links to her different social media. So her Facebook, her YouTube, her Instagram, 
you know, her LinkedIn, her email, her phone number. She has her own color schemes here with her navigation um, and customization that she went out there and created with her customization um, with this. So these locations here to give you an idea of what these are. And I'm going to show you guys a few more examples and we'll jump into the CRM portion here. Um, but these location items here. So these can be utilized. This is just a, a quick, easy way to go out there and navigate different searches, um, but make it specific to different markets that you work. So, and you can change the name of any of these. It doesn't have to be locations. It could be, you know, cities, it could be towns. It could be, you know, if you work one specific city, but you want to feature neighborhoods within that city, um, you can do that. Um, I always, you know, talk to my agents and tell them, hey, within two seconds of anybody landing on your website, they should know who you are, what you do for a living, make it easy for them to, to reach out and contact you, but let you know who you serve and how you can help them. So if you see on here, okay, obviously she's a real estate agent. She works with buyers, sellers, also rent to purchase, credit repair, um, and then the different locations that she works. So if you were to come into any of these, so let's just say we're going to go to Litchfield Park here. Um, so these are, you know, different cities. So this is just a list of the different cities that she works. Um, and then here, when you land on here, so this is an image that she uploaded for Litchfield Park. Now, uh, anybody that knows Litchfield Park, that's familiar with Litchfield Park, knows this street here. Litchfield Park is really known for their kind of palm tree, their street line palm trees, you know, and so forth. So you can have a custom image that really speaks to that different city. But this automatically pulls through you know, the automatically populates the city name, automatically will populate the current median sales price for that area, average price per square foot for that area, average days on the market for that area. And then as you scroll down here, it'll automatically pull all of the different properties for sale in that given market. And there's, again, a lot of customization that you could do here. Let's just say she wanted to embed a YouTube video here that talked about, hey, the top 10 reasons why our clients love living in Litchfield Park, and then, uh, you know, write up of the city and, you know, different, you know, cool things about that city. You know, you can always customize that and add different things there. So again, it's just another way uh, to make it, I mean, any of this stuff is searchable on the search uh, uh, feature um, uh, where anybody could go out and, and you know run personalized home searches and regular home searches. Um, but this is just another quick way to, to make it really organized, quick, clean for clients to go out there, potential clients leads to go out there and start searching properties um, and land on your website. So if they were to come here and view any of these properties, just to give you an idea of what our overall search feature looks like. So anywhere when they're on the home, you know, searching for any properties on your website. Um, this is what they're going to sit there and see. So in the first fold, we always want to make sure that it's what we know buyers, what leads want to see. So this is going to give kind of a preview of the main things about the property, the price, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, kind of the main specs of the property. Up here, this is a floating kind of header. So anywhere they go, as they scroll down here, they're going to have the ability to ask a question. They can favorite this property. They can share this property. So if they want to email it to themselves or a friend or family member, um, and they can also go to, if they're running a specific search, go to the next property in that search. You can see that this is going to be branding uh, you as the agent. So this is branding Kimberly here with all of her information, all her social media links, you know, making it quick and easy to email, call, gives her bio, all of that. Uh, makes it really quick and, and easy to go out there. And we know that buyers want big photos. That's what people love. So, you know, on here, they can toggle through all these 64 photos, see all the photos of the property. Then this is automatically pulling through all of the different property information from the MLS. So the property description, interior features, exterior features, property features. So just like, you know, all the properties that, you know, anything that's on the MLS that they would also, whether you're sending them an MLS link or maybe they go on Zillow, realtor.com, it's, you know, all, all fed from the same IDX there. If you will, um, they can see schedule open houses, price history. They can sit here and, and see the schools that are attached to that property. There's a built-in mortgage calculator for that property. And just so you know, too, all of these different color schemes here, you can pick and choose, you know, so that way you can match your branding, your colors, you know, of, of your branding. These are just the colors that she chose for her branding. Um, it's got that built-in mortgage calculator for that property. Um, it's got a you know map search, so you can go out there and, and interact with the different map searches and showing the different, you know. Know, schools and businesses and all that stuff there. Um, and then we always want to prompt as many different ways for people to submit inquiries as possible. So another quick way they can ask a question up here, another quick way for them to ask a question down here, you know, um, and so forth. You know, then if they wanted to go out there and, oh, well, hey, you know, you can search by school district. So if they wanted to go search and run a search by school district, then come here, pull up any of that. And you can search by, you know, city address, school district, you know, subdivision, neighborhood, you know, a lot of different sorting features, 
um, on here. They can search by price, you know, all of those different things. They can do a map search uh, as well. So a lot of different robust search options. And then if you're looking to go out there and, and how you can go out there and generate leads for people that are on your website, that land on your website, you can set these different controls, these different parameters um, on your website based on how, um, you know, how much you want them to go out there and view on your property. Let's just see if she has hers set up for this. So you can see now that I've, you know, she has her set up where I could allows me to go out there and view a couple properties. But then from there to continue, if I want to keep using this site, I have to register with my information. And you can pick and choose what you want them to register on. So as an example, if we come to my main um, site here, and if we were to come in here to search, and let's just say I clicked on this property here you can see that I'm asking for their first and last name, email, phone number, and I have mine set for first property, first click. You know, so mine's being a little bit more aggressive, you know, at going after and asking for that opt-in information. But of these settings in the back end, you can pick and choose. You can pick and choose how you can turn it off completely. You can pick and choose, you know, how many properties you want them to click on, how many total clicks, lots of different, uh, uh, you know, settings that you can do. And that's just kind of a personal preference based on how aggressive, you know, people want to be with that. I mean, the more aggressive that you have your settings, the more leads you're going to generate, but also the higher bounce rate you're going to have on your website. So, you know, um, just to keep that into, um, uh, keep that into mind there. Um, then as we continue going on here again, like you can see, okay, she's got her location pages, you know, for seller options, they can go for a quick home valuation. So if they wanted to, if you were trying to, you know, submit a home valuation again, here, all of this can be customized. You can change out the image, you know, all of that. So, uh, uh, this would get them to opt in, opt in with their address. The next screen will ask them to opt in with their contact information, and then you'll get the lead to go out there and send them a CMA. Um, you know, but uh, let's just say if, you know, we also work with a lot of investors on our team that offer quick cash offers. So if somebody wanted to do that, you know, in the buy side, again, personalized home searches, you know, just different options that we have there, just to give you an idea of some of the customization that you can do. So we work with some of these rent to purchase companies. Um, so what she's done here is she's done a, a video embed. So this is actually through a third party. Um, it's not part of Perfect Storm, but it's embedded. So it lives in this system. This is actually a really cool uh, system called Video Ask. Um, that is like a video survey. So, you know, it just has them come on, start playing the video. And then once they say, okay, yes, I'm ready. Then I'll take them to the next question. You know, you're looking for less than, th you know, whatever. And then just, you know, keeps you going through the funnel. The program works. So like with this program, you got to have, you know, 580 or better credit score. Actually, I believe it just got changed to um, a 620. Um, you also have to have a household income of more than 45,000. So it's just, she's just going through and pre-sorting those qualification answers. So then once she knows that they're qualified, then boom, then they can have a conversation. So, you know, a lot of different, uh, you know, options there that you can do there. Um, uh, we have a very uh, effective blog feature. So when you come onto your blog feature, and again, we're always trying to showcase and you know keep your name, your image, your contact information front of mind. Um, but if they were to click onto any of your blogs, just to give you an idea of what the blog looks like. And with a blog, they can go out there and share it on social media. It's always going to have, again, we want to keep your contact information easy to contact, always front of mind here. It's going to have your most recent blog posts here. Um, we also, you know, um, have some very powerful indexing tools with, with Google, with SEO and the SEO keyword features. So if there's certain keywords you really want to dominate for your market, you're able to plug those in there with, with your blogging and on your blogs, you know, you can go out there and embed in images, you can embed in uh, video, you know, all of that with that. And when I talk about customization, I know sometimes customization, you know, can uh, scare people, uh, scare, you know, realtors. I know that, you know, is, is us real estate agents, we're not always the most techie, you know, but I just want you to know that we are very hands-on with the process. So, you know, we're happy to help you at no extra cost, you know, um, uh, get this stuff set up, build this out, make sure that you are really happy with your website. We don't do any contracts, uh, which is kind of rare for, for websites and CRMs in our industry, but our, our you know, approach is this, that, you know, we want to make sure that you're happy with your website. We don't want to handcuff anybody, but it makes us and forces us to ensure that, okay, your website's set up the way that you want it, that you like it, that you're proud of it, that's helping you generate leads, that's driving business, as well as your CRM is dialed in and you're able to help that, help you, you know, utilize that CRM to grow your business. Because look, we know if we don't do that and help you get that dialed in, if you don't have it set up right, if you're not trained right on this, you know, you're not going to retain as a client. So then we both lose in that scenario and situation. All right. So um, when we're on this, th these are 
user, a client of ours that's done a really good job with their customization. So if you scroll down and get on the homepage, I showed you earlier how, you know, we had different uh, properties for searches. Well, they've done cards. So to give you an idea of, you know, these are really just a lot of different, um, a lot of these are from their navigation items on the buy side, the sell side, you know, and so forth. Just another way to drive people to different parts of the website that they want to drive them to for more information. So as they keep scrolling down here, then they've got all their popular markets, popular areas that they work. Then they've got this, you know, with their um, uh, actual feature listings. Then they've got their track record. Then they've got, you know, their home selling system, information on their home selling system. Then they've got testimonials. So a lot that you can continue adding and customize again, you know, when it comes to that. Um, they've done, instead of that location item, what they've done is just filtered search items. Now, anybody could go search these on their own, but in their, their community, it's like, hey, the, this is what, you know, people are commonly going out there and searching for with their clientele. So, okay, waterfront listings must be a popular thing in the area. So these are just pre-filtered searches that make it really easy for leads and potential clients and current clients to go out there and, and filter and see. So it's just pulling those in automatically. You know, so again, you can see here, they've got a lot of different navigation items. So if we sit there and look at, okay, their um, home selling system, you know, just an example. I mean, this is just going through to give you an idea of, you know, just some of the customization that you can do, um, like they've added in, um, uh, you know, their home selling system, like a flip book here. So then people can come through on their website and read about what they, it is that they do. I mean, this is just kind of like a mini listing presentation, right? Um, that they have on their website, you know, for that more, again, more just information here as they go through, just give an idea of different ways they go out there, market their properties, you know, all their contact information, um, anybody could opt in for, let's just say, um, uh, on the buy side over here, um, where is their, um, like their home buyer's guide, you know, they've uh, just, you know, uh, created kind of a custom home buying guide with an opt-in form, you know, another way to go out there and generate leads um, that you can do again with, you have essentially infinite opportunities and customization with your navigation items along with your drop downs, right? So, um, Lots of different options there. If we go look at their blog, just to give you another idea of a blog, because blog, blogging is, is so powerful. If you click on this, they do a good job at keeping their blog up to date. But you can see, again, they've got, you know, embedded in photos, a lot of great information, um, um, you know, things going on in the market, you know, so forth, what's going on with jobs and wages in their market, keeping up to date with that. It's all good for, you know, that Google juice, if you will. And again, you can embed in YouTube videos on here too. So people can watch those YouTube videos, really easy to embed in those different videos, you know, when it comes to that. Um, so then uh, if you do have a team or brokerage and, you um, you know, you want to have a list of your agents, just give an example of, of what that looks like here. So you can, you know, pull that up, have all their social media links, all their contact information, you can do the same thing with all of your vendors, you know, all of that. Um, they also on here um, are looking for to recruit agents, you know, so for the, this is a brokerage client of ours. So on here, so here's an embedded YouTube video. This talks about their, you know, what they do with a culture, what they offer. And then there's an embedded, they just embedded, you don't have to use uh, Google Forms. You can. You can also use some that um, you know don't have this you know drop down box that looks like it just kind of lives on the page. There's a lot of different forms that uh, we utilize for that. Um, but just another way to go out there and and you know drive different types of business to your overall website. Here's an example of a client of ours that um, collects reviews to their website. So you come on here, just makes it really easy for their clients to leave a review. Go on to leave a review, so they can just send their past clients this link right here, this then loads. And now this is just a survey. You know, it's so a first name, last name, email. They have a series of, of several different questions, ask for some more final thoughts, ask for permission to be able to share this on different social media platforms, tag them in on it. So again, lots of different options there, you know, from, from the front end of the website. And you can sit there and see here, you know, like I was showing you different examples on the homepage, you know, so instead of making it city specific, they've done, okay, here's the main counties that they work. Um, and here's homes between the different brackets. So 200 to 300,000, 100 to 200,000. Then they have, you know, all their different popular cities where anybody can click on those, you know, and go out there and run searches for those specific cities, you know, um, on there. So lots of different options when it comes from an overall branding perspective. So, you know, branding, lead generation, 
lots of different ways to opt in for leads, build up SEO, get your message out there and a lot of different tools, features for people to not just you know, come to your website, but then continue utilizing your website, revisit your website, stay on your website, you know, and so forth. All right. So now let's jump on into the actual back end. So the reason why I'm saying back end here is on here, this is kind of twofold. So if we if we come down here, um, anything here below essentially is going to be all of your different website settings. So here's where you'd create a new blog post. Here's where you would add a new navigation item. Here's where you'd update logos, where you'd update, you know, anything on the front end website. So um, from the front end website, uh, uh, you know, kind of control center, along with your whole entire CRM, everything's done here in the back end. All right. So um, let me just walk you through the back end CRM here. And uh, we'll just go through this here. I'm going to start with the dashboard and then we'll go into, you know, all the different features that it has. Um, so first off, th this, when you log in here, this is what you're going to see from your dashboard. And it's kind of a basic dashboard. What this is going to show you over here to the right is going to be your funnel. So this is just going to show you, this is a demo uh, a, a CRM dashboard here. So I don't have a lot of data in here, you know, but let's just say you had, you know, several years worth of data in here, you'd be able to see, okay, well, out of everybody in your system, what's the, you know, what's the percentage of leads versus clients versus past clients. So you can kind of, you know, see, see a snapshot of the whole funnel over here's your different visit sources. So you could sit there and see from traffic that's visiting your website, where are they coming from over here? These from the contact sources, this shows you a makeup of your entire system based on where your contacts are coming from. So where your leads are coming from, you know, so how many are website generated versus open houses, you know, whatever your contact sources are, um, which are all fully customizable, which I'll walk you through and show you that here in a moment. Um, then as we continue scrolling down here, we have a uh, integrated calendar, and this can actually be integrated and does integrate if you want to with your Google calendar. So then that way it can pull in, you know, it'll push anything that's on here on your Google calendar and pull in anything on your Google calendar into here as well. And you can see it's color coded. So anything that's green here is going to be an appointment. Anything that's blue is going to be a task. Um, whether it be a drip task or a manual task based on that lead or that contact record in your CRM, this kind of pinkish looking color here, this is birthdays. So anybody that has a birth date that would auto populate in your calendar. And you can sit there for like birth dates, anniversaries. Maybe you're wanting to, you know, write those, you know, birthday cards or, or whatever, you know, a month in advance, you can toggle ahead, um, you know, and, and go out there and see those you know, with that. Um, okay. So then um, again, anything um, uh, that, that pinkish is a birthday, anything that is this kind of fluorescent green is an anniversary. Anything that's red is going to be pulling in any of your Google calendar appointments. And anything that's this orange is going to be based on a transaction. So if you were to click on any of these, you know, tell you what that, you know, what that task is. And then from here, you could go to view transaction and be brought right into that transaction. Same thing with the other tasks. You know, um, if you click on any of these tasks, you know, it can tell you what that description is, take you right into the lead profile, you know, and so forth. If you're using the calendar feature, that's there for you. Um, traffic analytics, this just gives you a day-by-day -day breakdown on, on traffic visits. Um, so this can be helpful when you're dropping blogs, dropping certain things, you know, on your website, you can sit there and see, you know, who's visit, you know, like what, what, what the, you know, amount of traffic that you're getting on specific days, you can go out there and search that, um, uh, recent visits. This will always show, you know, most recent visits on, on the website. So there's just some basic stuff there. Okay. So then over here, there's two different ways that you go into and essentially, um, navigate your CRM and for setup and so forth. So over here to the right, this is going to be, you know, kind of your, your main setup uh, uh, navigation items or your main setup features. So first thing here is we jump into personal settings. This is going to be your basic stuff, your, your contact information, your cell number, um, everybody that gets, uh, uh, that signs up with Perfect Storm gets a local text number. You can pick the area code uh, for that. But that way, when we're having odd responder text messages, when you're having drip text messages that are going out from the site, or if you're texting from the site, that way it's a live texting site. So our uh, number, so um, whether you're sending texts or receiving texts, that way those texts are going somewhere and being sent out. So you're going to have that number. It's going to be tied to you. It's a, you know, it's your own number that's tied to you in the system. Now it is a texting number. However, anybody calls that number, that's going to then be forwarded to your cell number. So you still get those calls. So you won't drop and lose those calls. These third-party lead imports here, 
these are for like if you're doing Zillow leads, you know, getting those a lot of times they'll need a, an email port. So then those leads are automatically imported into your CRM, can receive automatically autoresponder text, autoresponder emails, can have them automatically set up on, you know, your thousand day email text strip campaign, you know, all of that stuff. Um, uh, we have uh, some some integrations here. Um, uh, we have a native integration with Facebook's API. So when you're doing Facebook ads this way, when you're getting those leads and generating those leads through Facebook, they automatically directly will import into your CRM, automatically trigger and fire off the autoresponder email, autoresponder text, automatically get set up on the drips, you know, and so forth. Um, you can connect with your Google Calendar, Google Contacts. Uh, we uh, integrate with Mojo, um, a lot of different options with Zapier there um, as well. Then as we come down here, here's where you set up your, your signature through the system and, and really essentially any signature that you can set up in, in like a Gmail, you can set up in here as well. So maybe you have a fancy signature that you want in there. Um, um, that's, so th this is all your personal settings there. Um, then from there, so I'll kind of walk you through, like if I were to have a brand new agent on my team or a brand new agent with Perfect Storm starting, first part, first area that I start with right here is contact sources. So if you think about contact sources, these are all the different ways that you would possibly generate business within your business. So think of these as different lead sources, right? Um, and not just lead sources. I mean, this, I, I guess you can call it lead, but this can be your, you know, even with your sphere of influence. Well, how do you know these people? Maybe it's, you know, you want to have, you know, uh, one for your church, maybe one for different networking groups. You know, I was just uh, uh, talking with a team, doing a demo with a team that does a lot of business with different attorneys. Well, we don't want to have just attorney as a lead source. We want to have, you know, that name of that specific attorney that way we can track it because your autoresponders, your drips from a tracking perspective. And one of the reasons why this system is so effective is it really helps you to get granular with knowing where your business is coming from, where to focus your time, energy, and attention, you know, and so forth. I just did a demo with a guy that, you know, was uh, uh, listening to a real estate agent panel locally. And one of the agents up there who's a long-term client of ours, um, his individual agent did like 72 deals last year. And he's like, how do you do that many deals? And he told them, you know, perfect storm. Um, and it's not that we're out there doing the deals for him. It's that this allows him to be so effective and efficient at working those leads, at knowing where to allocate that time, energy, focus, you know, and, and utilizing and leveraging all the tools that the system has just allows him to be, again, a hell of a lot more efficient and do a lot more deals. So on here, you can always see the number of contacts per different lead source as you're filling these up and it makes it really easy every time you create a new contact or a new source you know as you're getting new sources you just input that in save boom um so we we want to start with all of your lead sources so again if i'm having a brand new agent get started it's like first step is we're going to set up all your contact sources then from there we are going to come right up here to autoresponder settings so inside your autoresponders, so your autoresponders primarily going to be for online leads, right? So any leads that are auto dumped into your CRM. So, you know, whether you're doing Facebook leads, Instagram leads, whether you're doing Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, any of those types of leads, whether you're doing Google pay-per-click, you know, maybe you're, you know, running, um, um, you know, ads from your YouTube channel that are to your website where people are opting in. Um, and we can set this up based on, okay, is it a buyer lead or is it a seller lead? And then we set up um, and come in here and we then we can set up the autoresponder text message and the autoresponder email. So this way, instantaneously, when those leads come in, they get that instant email, that speed to lead. They get that instant email, instant text message from you. So we make sure to go in and connect the, the right uh, set of the autoresponders based on your different contact sources that make sense from there. Um, also on here, you can import contacts and our support team can help you with that. You can import, export different contacts, you know, so if you're running, you know, Facebook leads and you need an export of your, your leads, whatever makes it easy to go out there and do that. I'm down here, buyer lead rotation, seller lead rotation. So this is, you know, if you're a team leader, a broker, John, that's generating leads for your agents, you can go in here and have a list of all of your agents. You can sit there and select whether they're receiving leads or not receiving leads. And then you can weight them, you know, like meaning, okay, hey, maybe, you know, Joshua Smith up here is converting twice the many leads as everybody else. So I want him getting two leads to everybody's one. So I can then, you know, set this up and make sure, you know, I can weight this to make sure that he's getting double the amount of leads. So we have um, uh, your buyer lead rotation, seller lead rotation, as far as team users, for again, those of you that are teams, we have a lot of, we, I mean, we have a lot of individual agents, but we also have a lot of team leaders and a lot of brokerage owners. Um, uh, so, you know, if you want to come in here and edit any permissions based on your agents, you know, so a lot of our team leaders might want to not allow 
if they're generating the leads for their agents, may not allow them to go out there and export those leads, may not allow them to delete those leads, may not allow them to change the um, uh, lead uh, uh, source, you know, because maybe on that is based on how they dictate, you know, what split those leads are on based on that source, you know, so you can go out there and edit or, or uh, control those permissions. We got billing. We have a referral program uh, where you can, you know, if, if you decide if you love the system and you're referring other people to the system, where you can uh, earn residual um, payouts every every month that they get, you know, billed. We do a payout for you on there, so you can track, um, you know, who you have referred and what those payouts are right there and those referrals. So that's everything in the personal settings. All right. So now let's come over here. Um, so everything is going to be controlled again from two different areas. You got right over here um, this drop down where we just were at. Then over here, if you click these three lines, this again um, down here is going to be website settings and so forth. Then let me walk you up because everything else is going to be what's tied into the CRM. So the first area is scripts right here. Um, this is you know kind of a popular tool with our, our teams and brokerages where it's just a, a library of different scripts. So you can upload any scripts that you utilize, any that you have in the system. You know, that way it's just a really quick, easy way to go out there and search any scripts. If there's certain scripts that you guys follow as a team, that way you have those in there. So that's there. Um, reporting, this is just you can go in and, and, and check out your call reporting, email reporting to see open rates, mass email reporting, some overall funnel reporting, and so forth. Um, and then in templates, what templates is right here is, um, so we're always thinking about efficiency. So a lot of times it can happen where you're sending a lot of the same emails and the same text messages over and over and over, right? Like you can create these into these templates where then when you're emailing anybody or texting anybody from the system, you can just select that template, insert their first name and not have to type the same things over and over and over. So that's a pretty popular feature there. Now, marketing here. Um, this is an awesome, amazing feature. If you're doing a lot of online marketing, when it, this allows you to get very, very granular with your tracking. So uh, when we come into here with Link Builder, so um, uh, this is where we're going to build out our actual links that we're driving people to when it comes to our different ads. So your search results page, this would be if I'm having, you know, search, you know, all homes for sale in XYZ city with XYZ features, right? So this is going to be, you know, a, a, where it's, you know, got many different properties on one, um, you know, page that they're searching. Sell page is obviously for a CMA. Property detail page would be like, okay, if I just listed a property and I just want to you know, drive people to just that property. Uh, so then if we were to go into here, so let's just say I'm going to run, you know, um, a Surprise Arizona, one of the cities that I work here. So maybe I'm going to do Surprise Arizona, and this is going to auto-populate from your MLS you know, all the different fields. So you can get, again, really granular with the type of you know, properties that you're running. But something that's really popular in, uh, in here in Arizona where I'm at um, is pool homes. So maybe I'm just going to do, you know, any homes in Surprise, Arizona with swimming pools, all right? So just kind of a, a you know, basic search there. Um, then from here, I ch ch uh, pick and choose whether I want to allow lead routing. Then from here, lead source. So this is for tracking. So I want to make sure that I'm tracking the lead source. So let's say this is going to be a Facebook lead ad. Then for ad tracking, I want to select yes. And then, you know, I'll just name what the ad is. Surprise, you know, homes with pools. And then I'll, you know, date this. I think I already named one in that today. So I'm going to do that name there. Um, you know, so then you can also, again, here, select the source, even though you select it up here this way. And these are going to be all your different sources that you've already put in, right? So we've already entered your, your lead generation sources. You can pick and choose whether you want to track this. You can pick and choose whether it's organic. Maybe this is going to be on a Facebook group, or maybe it's on my YouTube, tied to one of my YouTube videos, you know, but in this case, let's just pretend that it's a paid ad. So then when I come here to generate link, it's going to generate the link. So I could call, so this is what I'd go into Facebook and where I drive people at. So if I were to view this, you can kind of get an idea of, of what that page would look like. So this would just land them on all homes in Surprise Arizona with swimming pools, you know, that are currently for sale. So this is, you know, that list of homes that it would take them into, right? Um, but then if we were to come in here and come back up to um, the ad tracking, you can sit here and see right here. So, so here's the ad name. Um, and it'll give, give some basic points of that. So, you know, paid Facebook, the date that it was created, it will show me how many visits, total leads, and my conversion of that. And then also when I'm building out that, you know, ad set and or that ad in Facebook, 
when that lead comes into and, and becomes a lead inside my system, the first note in that contact record is going to burn that information. So then that way, not only can I go back and track, okay, well, here's the amount of leads I'm getting from Facebook. Well, then I know, okay, I'm, I'm you know doing okay with Facebook ads. Well, now I can sit there and go a step further and identify, okay, well, what exact ads am I running specifically on Facebook? You know, what Facebook groups, what type of marketplace ads, what specific type of ads are, are actually, you know, getting the best results, but most importantly are leading to actual clients and closings. So this allows you to get really granular with your overall tracking. Okay. So then as we move on here, Transaction management, one of my favorite features inside the system here. I mean, I love them all, but uh, transaction management is something that we spend a lot of time in. So there's two areas when it comes to transaction management. The first area here, you got checklists. So your checklist, think of this as just a digital checklist, you know, so like step one, step two. So with your contract to close. So like as an example here for my buyer client transaction checklist, if I come in here to edit these, so as you build these out, so you can have, you know, so think about like, okay, when you are got a new listing and you're doing a listing input, what's step one? What's step two? What's step three? Maybe step one is turn everything in your, to your broker. Step two might be, you know, order the professional photos. Then you might order the signposts. Then you might order the lockbox. Then you got to receive the photos. Then you got to input, like, you know, you have all of those different steps, right? Um, um, and with these, you name what the step is. You can select who the author is. So for those of you that have, you know, teams, maybe you have a transaction coordinator, you know, you might have certain tasks that are assigned to you as the agent. You might have certain tasks that are, you know, assigned to the transaction coordinator or your, your assistant, your admin and so forth. And then you can enable rule dates um, uh, based on this. So like uh, here in Arizona, the earnest money is due within 24 hours of contract acceptance. So on that, you know, I might sit there and put, you know, one day after acceptance date. Right. So I'm going to um, not make that change because I don't want to screw this one up. Uh, but you can select what those rule dates are. And then you can type in detailed descriptions. You know, so like if there's certain emails that you want your assistant to send, you can pre type in the emails. That way they can just copy and paste. You know, um, you can put, you know, really detailed information in there. So this way, these are pre created. So think about, you know, okay, when you get a new listing, what's that process? Okay, when you're representing a buyer, you might have buyer contract to close. Well, when you represent the buyer in a contract to close, those things might be different than on a seller. You know, cash buyer might be different from a finance. Buyer. So you can go in there and create upfront all those checklists. Um, and then when you actually get into the transaction itself, uh, because you have those pre created, you can select the checklist and it will auto populate, set the due dates, all of that. So then that ensures things don't get missed throughout that transaction. All right. So then when we go into the transactions, um, you're going to, here's what you're going to see when you first come in. So this is going to give you an idea of your pipeline. So your active listings, you know, what do you have an active listing, uh, uh, you know, volume, what you have total pending buy side and, and listing side combined, what you have closed year to date and what your total pipeline is. And you can segment these by sales volume or by commission. Um, and then if you, if you, uh, are, are a team leader or brokerage owner, you can also filter, you know, um, by company or individual, a lot of different filter options, you know, in here that you can go, um, filter through, you know, when it comes to these, um, um, uh, so then you can also track this as you're using this for a while and compare year over year, you know, and, and have all of that. So let's just go into it. Now, if you're going to create a new transaction, you just come here to create a new transaction, choose whether it's a listing side, buy side, and it just walks you through it. But let me take you into kind of a, a dummy transaction here. So you're going to see here these different tabs, and we'll go through all these different tabs to show you what uh, uh, you know this shows. All right, so the first area here, this is going to be the details. So you know you can put in the MLS information, all the address, property information, you know all the basic details, transaction notes, all the basic details. It's also going to have you link it to that actual contact that's inside your CRM. So you got that lead. Now they're a client. They go under contract. Boom, you link it to them. It makes it really easy to toggle back and forth to that contact record inside your CRM, you know, to the transaction management, which I'll show you what that looks like too. Um, this is also, you know, what we're going to list price, contract price, and pick and choose what type of a sale that it is. Um, and then this here is where you select, put in all your dates. So acceptance date, closing date, contract date, earnest money, you know, date, inspection dates, you know, all of that, that, that pertain. Um, and this is where then, and when you add those checklists, the system knows then to assign uh, when those due dates are, you know, based on the acceptance date and so forth. 
So then from here, the second tab over is going to be commissions. So this is where you can go out there and track and you can put it in, whether it's a percentage or a dollar amount. Um, you can put your in track, okay, what you're paying your broker, what you get. There's a referral fee associated to that. You know, you can track what all of that is. Um, right here is your checklist. So once you once you put in this transaction, uh, and you, if you have those checklists, you don't have to create them, but if you choose to, it keeps things a lot more organized and it's, you know, I know it's a little bit of work setting them up initially. You might have to take a couple hours to, you know, or an hour or two to get them all set up, but then it allows things to just be so efficient after that. You just select which checklist that applies to the transaction. Then from there, it auto populates out all those steps, you know, so like this is our 35 step from contract to close you know, for a buyer transaction and will automatically assign who that's assigned to. So like on my team, I have transaction coordinators. So this will show which transaction coordinators assigned to that task, you know, but also the aid, like the final walkthrough might be done by the agent, not a transaction coordinator. So we'll go there and, you know, sort those things out, tell you what the task is. And then when they're with what the due date is, and then when they're complete, you just check it off and complete those different tasks. And you can also add, maybe something comes up, you need to add a manual task to, you can add a, an item anytime, you know, with that right here, where you can just add, and you can set a due date, you know, all of that on there um, for that. Files in here. So uh, this is just a way to keep your, all your contracts organized. You can create folders. You don't have to, you can dump everything in here and just have a list of all the items. You know, um, uh, I personally like to keep them organized where I have like all the different state, you know, the brokerage documents, the kind of main documents. Then I like to have inspections, invoices, and warranties. You know, this way it's not uncommon that, you know, after closings, maybe six months afterwards, maybe there's an issue with the property and they're like, hey, do you have that? Remember the seller provided that one-year warranty. Do you still have that? We got an issue going on, you know, um, closing documents, uh, tax time. It makes it really easy to go find those. So you can, you know, choose to, you know, categorize this, but it's infinite storage. So like here in Arizona, brokers have to hold on the files for seven years, but us as agents have to hold on to them for five years. So this allows you just to keep all of your files organized in here. You know, in this way, if a client needs something, I can put them on speakerphone, go in for my phone, access all of this stuff. Um, um, there's nothing that I can't access from my phone that I can from the computer. You know, so again, it just keeps us very organized. Members here. So this is just a way where you have, you know, you can add, okay, well, who is the escrow officer? You know, who is the loan officer? Who is the home inspector? Who is the, you know, um, all, all the different, you know, anybody that had anything to do with that property, the cross sale agent, all of that. That way you can just keep a record of that. And then any additional notes. So any additional notes that you want to add in here, you can add those notes to that different uh, transaction record there. So that's your transaction management. Um, then as we come through here, here's another way to go work your tasks. So uh, right here, this will just show all your tasks that you have. You can pull this right up, see what the description of that task is. You can complete it right from here. So another way to go out there and work your, your uh, daily task queue or your different tasks that you have to keep you on track. Um, then right here is your drips. So um, with your drip, so there's three different types of drips that the system will send. One is a task to you. So like, let's just say, you know, for your calls, like I get a new lead in my system. I want to call same day. Then I might call every other day for the first 14 days and every 21 days for the first year. And that might be in place until communication happens. I know what their expectations are, what their timelines are. Okay, I can set those up in here. Or maybe it's a task to, you know, go out there and send out an expired letter, whatever it may be. Um, so you have uh, uh, task drips that will task you to keep you on task. So then that way you don't forget to do those things. Then you have email drips and then you have text drips. So inside here, uh, when you go to global plans, these are all my personal drip plans. And these aren't just for, you know, like uh, all the different lead sources that I that I do and go after. Um, but also, you know, like as an example um, here, like this buyer, um, buyer appointment set, no show follow up. OK, well, I'm always thinking of, OK, what are the different detours? Maybe I set up a buyer consultation, but that buyer no shows me for that consultation. I have this in here. It's a 12 touch, 26 day follow up plan. So then all I got to do is click that button, add that drip to that contact record. Once they've no showed me, it's going to automatically add that. It's going to automatically fire off six emails. And then it's going to automatically task me six different times over that 26 days. Because again, it's a 26 day, 12 total touch. A drip plan to go out there and reset that buyer consultation. You know, um, so all my call tasking drips, um, uh, all my email drips, all of that are in there. So you can go in there and just copy them, steal them, take them, tweak them, edit them, whatever you want to do there. And then, well, if we were to come in here, so let's just say like this third party online buyer lead drip. So this is like what I would utilize for like, um, 
you know, uh, Realtor.com or, or Zillow or any third-party lead that's coming in. So you can see here these, these three dashes up top here. Um, so like on this initial task one, this is tasking me. So this is automatically going to task me. So when this new lead comes in, this is just automatically tasking me to go out there and, you know, QC the lead and, and do what I got to do with that lead. Um, then you can see this next one down here that's got a little bubble next to it. This is a text. It's got to eat the next one down. It's got an email, a little mail folder envelope. So that's an email. So you can see here based on where these are showing where it says wait. So when th this initial, as soon as this drip is, is attached to this lead, it's showing wait zero hours. So you can do it by hours or days. Um, now on this next one here, so this is going to be okay immediately, like this is going to be assigned. Well, then on the second one down here, this is saying, okay, wait one day from this last step. So not one day from when the lead came in, but one day from this last step. Because for me, with this type of lead source, they're going to already get an autoresponder email. They're already going to get an autoresponder text message. So I don't want them receiving another text message until they've been in the system for 24 hours. So, so then that will come through and you can see you know, what they're being texted you know, right there with that. Then I've got set up for two days after that text message. Now they receive this email. Right. And again, you can, you know, just copy mine over and then you can quickly just come here and edit anything that you want to edit, you know, within those, or you can add new to add new steps. You just come down here and you just on this add step, what you select, whether you want an email, whether you want a text or whether you want a task, you just put in what the subject line is. Um, and then you just type your email or type the text message. It makes it super, super simple. Probably one of the most easy drip building out systems that exists out there. Um, uh, from that system. So you can go out there and create your own. Um, you can steal mine, edit mine, take mine, tweak them, you know, play, you know, whatever you want to do there, you know, when it comes, comes to that. Um, so that's where the drips are. Uh, all right. So we talked about drips now right here under leads. Now this is going to be, I know it says leads, but this is actually where every human being inside your CRM is going to be. It's going to be right inside this area right here. So when you first come in here, you're just going to have a list of everybody. So the first thing I want to show you right here is filters. This is actually how we go and our work our tasks on a daily basis. So through filters, now you can filter these if you want to do a mass email, but you can also filter them to go work, you know, that different list, how, however you want to do it. So let's just say as an example, I want to go out there and do a mass email right now to just all my buyer leads to talk about, you know, a new great loan program or how we're getting interest rates down, you know, whatever. I can go to view results and then it would just show up all the buyer leads that are in there. Then I can just select all those. I can go to mass email. I can, you know, select all the leads in my system if I want to do a mass email or just those, you know, like maybe you just want to, maybe you're doing a past client party and you just want to message just those past clients, whatever it may be. You know, right? um, you can select those um, and then I can just go out there and send them um, an email here. Um, you know, whatever that subject line is, you can put in variable data so I can, you know, to kind of customize this a little bit, I could put, hey, uh, insert their first name and then, you know, type whatever the message is. I can insert an image. I can hyperlink the image. Um, you can insert a video uh, if you want to do, you know, a, a video email. You know, all of that right there will have you pre-mail. You got to preview the email before you send it just to make sure you're happy with it. Um, but also right from here, you know, you can also, while you're in here, you can email right directly from in here. If they have a valid um, cell number, you can text them also right from here. Um, this is also how I personally go in here and work all my leads. So I'll always come in here, clear filters. Then I'll just come in here and put, okay, any tasks that are overdue, any tasks that are due today, I'll just view those results. And then bam, it's like, oh okay, yeah, these three contacts, they have uh, uh, tasks on, you know, outside of transaction management, I'll go into transaction management feature to work all my, my contracts. Um, but then in here, I'll just go into the first contact record. Right here, it shows me what that task is. I can click right here, see that description. Okay, here's the description of the task. Um, I'll complete the task, update it, log it, go to the next, do the same thing there. And then when that one's done, go to the next. You know, And then once I'm to that last task for that last lead, now I can't go any further. So we just go through and that's what we call clearing the plate every day on our team. So as long as we clear the plate, we are good to go on our team as long as everything's set up correctly. 
you know, so it's like, okay, as long as our contact sources are set up, as long as our autoresponders or drips are set up, everything's set up correctly, and then we're feeding it in our CRM new consistent leads, then from there, it's like, we just got to clear out our daily task here, work those tasks, boom, we are good to go. All right, so now let's go into an actual contact record to show you everything that this shows and kind of give you an idea of navigation and so forth. All right, so when you first log in here, what you see up here at the top is just a, kind of a, you know, the main contact information, but a snapshot. So this is just showing me, okay, on the website, this lead is looking, here's the average price point of homes that they're looking at on the website. Here's the bedrooms, bathrooms, the city, um, last time they visited the site, how long they've been a lead in my system, what the lead source is, um, the last communication that's taken place. So show whether that's been an email or text message or so forth. Um, um, then from over here, Obviously, it's going to show you this is just a test lead, a dummy lead, but it would show you the lead name, uh, their email, um, their phone number. Right here, you can toggle this through. And I can sit there like maybe they become a client just for filter and, and tracking purposes. I can quickly update this, you know, because now I can filter to all clients. I can filter to, you know, um, all under contracts. I can filter those, you know, really quickly and easily as long as I'm keeping this status updated. But we want to just make it where it's super simple to update it, right? Just a click of a button to update it. Then from here, um, if you have, like, this can be really helpful, especially with past clients, you know, um, but with leads, if you can go out there and hunt down their social media profiles, this just allows you to add those in the contact record, which you just come over here, click edit lead. And this is where you can edit, update all their information, address, all that information, but you can plop in their social media profiles. So then this way, you know, let's just say this is a past client and I'm getting ready to reach out to them for a follow-up call. I can just click right on here, go to their social media profile, see what's going on in their life, you know, see what's new, see, you know, whatever. Um, plus, it just makes it a quick way. Like, let's just say for, you know, we're kind of in this era of omni-channel follow-up, meaning maybe this is a lead and I've called them and I've emailed them numerous times over the last two weeks. And I haven't been able to get in touch with them, haven't been able to get a call back. You know, maybe I can go hunt down their information on social media. And, and you know, some people like to communicate via DMs and they don't prefer, they prefer that via text or email. You know, so it's just a quick way to be able to, to navigate to their different social media profiles, you know, and stay in touch with them on there. Um, we can also email right from the system. So I can click on email and shoot them an email um, uh, right from, you know, the system here. I can text them right from the system. Bam shoot a text message. I can log a call. So and on here, you can state for tracking purposes. Okay. Did I talked to him. I did not leave a message. You know, was it a bad number? You know, what time of day was it? You know, the description, all of that. Um, and then you can also add a note just to keep, you know, yourself organized with what's going on with that particular lead. Now we have an infinite tagging uh, capability. So, you know, and this is where, again, we just want to make sure where it's, it's effective and efficient as possible when we're working these different types of leads. So some of our clients like to have like a hot, warm, cold, you know, some, uh, there's a lot of different reasons why you might want to use different tags, um, but, you know, we can quickly add different tags and this way you can filter through tags, search through tags. It makes it super simple. You know, like if you want to sit there, maybe this is a past client. You want every time they refer you a deal, you want to know referral one, referral two. So then you can go out there and, you know, keep a track of, you know, how many referrals people are sending you. I forgot to also show you up here. Um, we have this more info item. So just to, this just allows for more effective follow-up. So you can, you know, put in the lead's birth date, their anniversary date, their spouse's information, their kid's information, home anniversary information, which that stuff, anniversary, birth dates, home anniversary, uh, uh, um, those all auto populate in your calendar, different notes. So that way, you know, like when I'm talking, you know, cause it's all about connection rapport. So this way I can pull up and reference their kids by name. You know, that makes it uh, pretty nice and easy. You can also add your lenders to um, uh, any leads that you want to add them to. Um, so like, okay, maybe you have a client that says, Hey, I want to get pre-qualified. Can you send me my lender? You can then, you know, drop down this, select your lender. Your lender will be added to this lead. Your lender can only see the leads that you've chosen to manually add them to. They can't edit anything. They can't delete anything. All they can do is add a note, right? So this way you can, it's just a great way to communicate through the system, but then you can also filter. So as I was showing you over here, you can filter when you come in your filter, you can filter by, you know, whether it's a buyer, seller, you know, other lead, pending, client, past client, other. You can filter by the different sources, you know, lead sources. You can filter by any different tags that you add. You can filter by lender. You can filter by task. You know, a lot of different filter options that you can filter uh, by, you know, as you are going through that there. Oops, close out of that. All right. So um, then as we come down here, 
So right directly below here, this is going to be your timeline. So this is going to show anything and everything that's ever happened with that lead. So any communication going out, um, uh, uh, you know, with this. Now we make this where it's easy to go out there. So if you're like, oh, I just want to see the text messages that have been going back and forth from this system. So you can just filter from text messages, or maybe you just want to see emails. You can go there and, and sit there and see email. It'll give you a green tag, you know, if they open and read that email. Um, it's a two-way email sync too. So emails that are coming back and forth, some of those text messages that are coming back and forth. We burned in here. Maybe you just want to sit there and filter calls, you know, or notes or whatever. You know, you can go out there and, you know, different filter options here. Then from here, with you come into searches, these are any searches that they've actually manually ran on your website. So it allows you to kind of track and see that. Um, and then any properties here. So this is going to, you know, show, um, um, you know, hop. So anything that they favorited, um, as well as um, so if they the favorite button and then hot properties are anything that they viewed at least three times. So that's going to be on your timeline. So again, it just gives you a quick, easy, you know, way to go out there and and you know keep a record of anything and that's going on with that particular lead, client, past client, and so forth. Okay, over here to your right. Um, first up here is all of your tasks. So these are either going to be the drip tasks that you created that are tasking you to do something on that lead or on that contact um, uh, that you set through the drips, or you can also add manual tasks here. You know, so maybe you need to do a pot pie. Maybe you need to, you know, I don't know, whatever it may be. Maybe just talk to them. They're going on their dream vacation and you want to follow up in two weeks. You know, whatever it may be, you can add a manual task you know, pick and choose what type of task it is, you know, and so forth, add all the descriptions that you want to add, set those dates. Now, right from here, you can click this right here, click on description. And if you, if you adopt any of my drips, you're going to see there's a lot of details, you know, like for my agents, I like to say, okay, Hey, if they pick up the phone, say this, if they don't answer the phone and you leave a voicemail, say this, like, yeah, you know, I, I try to go into very detail just to give people guidance of what to do. So then when those are complete, you can just complete it you know, log that call. Let's just say that was a call. I'm going to go, you know, complete the task, log the call for tracking purposes. That way it has that. So those are your tasks right down here, are your property alerts. So again, we have a built-in um, IDX with your MLS. So this way I don't have to worry about logging into the MLS to complete these and fill these out. I can come right in here. Um, and uh, this is just going to pull in any fields from your different MLS. So you can get really granular with the, you know, different types of, you know, searches that you're having. You can have it set up where it's any, anything that meets their criteria. The second it comes available is instantaneously sent to them. You can have it set up. Okay. They get it daily. They get it weekly. They get it monthly. Um, you can set this up for property alerts for active properties, but you can also set up for sold properties. So like for me, any seller leads that I have, I like to send them a weekly report of any homes that are apples to apples that just sold like in their neighborhood or in their, their area that would be, you know, an actual comp that we would use. I like them getting a weekly report of those. With past clients, I have that set for monthly reports of those solds that go out. So then that way it's not me committing to a price, but they can keep a pulse of what's going on in their market. Then obviously for buyer clients, for me, for buyer clients, I pretty much have them set up on instant. And, you know, you can have multiple searches set up for each client. So like maybe some, you know, maybe you have a client that's buying, you know, a personal home from you. And then you have, they also want to buy an investment property. So maybe they have two searches set up, you know, so you can have, um, you know, that set up as well. So over here's your property alerts right below. That's going to be the drip plans. So these are going to show the drip plans that they are on, the name of the drip plan, the step that they are on the drip plan, and when the next communication from that drip plan is. You can pause them, you can cancel it, you can update the step. You can also like maybe this was a, a, a you know a buyer lead. I set a buyer consult with them. They no showed me. You know I can just click on this, go to add plan, bam, add the plan. Then if you scroll down here on these, this will always show you the plans that they're currently on. And then any plan that uh, they've already completed, and it gives you the option to restart those if you want to restart those. So like right now, well, we're getting the best success, at least right now today, is our leads that are like two years old in our system. So we're going back through and restarting those and treating them as new leads now that the market softened and you know it's a really good time to buy now in our market where two years ago, it wasn't a good time to buy in our market. You know, so it gives you a quick you know, idea, a quick way to go out there and do that. Right below that is appointments. You know, so um, on here, you can sit here and add an appointment. So you can do a buyer consult, listing consult, showing homes. Some of our clients like to sit there and track, well, how many homes I show these clients or another, you know, have your detailed notes, all of that stuff. Um, so your appointments will show up here. That'll also auto-populate to your, um, you know, calendar on your dashboard. You know, if you want to utilize that right down here are files. 
So, um, you know, maybe you have your prequal and you want to store the prequal in here. One form that we use as a team is our getting to know you form. Where we, you know, find out like what their favorite restaurants are, what their hobbies are, all that stuff. So they send us a referral. We can always pull that up, reference that, you know, so you can have files there. Then if there is any transaction, let's just say this one, uh, this particular uh, lead or client is under contract. If they're under contract, it's going to show, uh, you know, the transaction down here. Um, so this way I can then just boom, click on this and it'll take me right into the transaction. So you can quickly toggle back and forth from that transaction, from that contact record. So it just makes it super easy to go out there and work those contacts um, um, and, uh, you know, make sure to automate, you know, I look at my CRM as an assistant, meaning, you know, if I hire an assistant, I want that assistant to be able to do the tasks that they can do for me and take off my plate. So to automate those, but then the tasks that my assistant can't do, I want that assistant to keep me on task, to remind me. So then things never get missed. Right. So remind me to come in there and do those things. So I can just kind of, you know, as long as I have the system set up the right way, um, then from there, I can just set it and forget it. And we just really focus on, you know, effectiveness, efficiency and simplicity. You know, we want to keep the, how we work this system to be able to be as fast, as quick, effective and efficient as possible. But allow, this allows us to work a really a whole entire pipeline because we're able to work all of our clients, all of our past clients, you know, all of our current clients, all of our, our uh, transaction managements, you know, under contracts, pendings. Um, you know, all of that and get, again, really granular with the tracking, um, you know, so that I can sit there and know what's working, how my time is allocated, you know, and so forth. All right. So those are the main different uh, functions and features of the website and CRM. Uh, if there's any questions that you have below, you're going to see uh, an, an area where you can click and schedule a Zoom call with me. So if there's further things that you want to see, other features that you want to see, questions that you have, you can schedule those with me. It's a zero, absolute zero pressure. So you don't have to worry about me pushing you, you know, or, or trying to, uh, you know, high pressure to do anything that you don't feel comfortable doing. Um, but if you are ready to move forward, there also below this is a link to get you started, to get you rock and rolling. And on that link is a discount. So you're going to see on there versus if you go to the website, we waive the registration fee, which is normally $199 a month. So we waive that registration or $199 for the registration fee. So that's completely waived. And then you get 50% uh, for the first three months. So it's only $99 a month for the first three months. Then on month four, it goes to $199 uh, per month. And that is for the main primary user of the system. Now, if you are a team or a brokerage, you know, then from there, it's $25 per month per agent user. And as you have you know, more users on the system, it starts to get less expensive. I think it peaks at like 30 some users. You can go to perfectstormnow.com and see the pricing schedule on that. Um, um, so you can see what that range is as, you know, as you grow and expand, because it's not always, you know, 20, you know, once you get, I believe it's 30 some agents, um, um, you know, then you get to a point where you're capped and not paying any more per agent user. So, um, all right, well, I hope that this was helpful. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.